This is Josh Mobley, also known as Neoverse on the Propellerhead site, and this is a tutorial on how to get your vocals into Reason. Um, I recently did a song for the Propellerheads called I'm In Here for their Abbey Road uh, refill, and I got a lot of emails asking me uh, how I did that. Um, you know, all the vocals are coming out of Reason, and um, this tutorial will show you how to do that. And, you know, you might be asking yourself, well, why would I even want to go there? You know, if I have Reason rewired into Pro Tools and I'm recording the vocals into Pro Tools, why would I even want to take that extra step and turn it into a Rex file and throw it into Reason? And the truth is, once you get your vocals into Reason uh, using Recycle, some extraordinary uh, creative possibilities open up. And, um, you know, I'm not going to do that on this video because this is just to, for the basics, but if I do another video, um, you know, I'll show you how to do the crazy shit with, uh, with reason and vocals. So, that being said, let's begin. Okay, so uh, here we are in GarageBand with the uh, the vocals and the music. I know uh, you're thinking that's crazy, GarageBand, but <laughs> you can do this in just about any digital audio workstation that supports bars and beats. Um, two things that are critical for getting it to lock and reason and not drift, the vocals that is, is that you want to make sure that it begins on a measure and ends on a measure. So I've got my end locator at 49, and, you know, actually, you want to make sure that you export out on the one, man. Um, you know, for if you're just starting out doing this, if you've never done this before, do it on the one so when you export it out and put it into Reason, it will, uh, it will lock perfectly. And you also want to, um, you know, take into account what your tempo is for later, uh, 130 BPM. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to play this back. Okay, right? So, again, the, uh, the space right here before the vocals come in is critical to keeping the timing intact. So, now I'm going to go over and I'm going to mute the music and I'm going to hit share and export it out, and that is the end of step one. Okay, um, I've got the vocals in Recycle, and uh, I'm just going to assume that you're reasonably familiar with uh, how Recycle works. And I've got to put my bars and beats in, or my bars. Um, one of the oddities with this is that uh, whatever you export it at, you have to do one measure less. So I exported it 49 measures, so I'm going to put in 48. And as you can see, original tempo, 130 BPM. So now I'm going to move the slider over a little bit, oh. and um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, I, I, you know, I like to I like to break up the vocals somewhat because I don't want to have to start back at the beginning of the uh, of that section to hear the vocals start playing. This this ensures that. Um, uh, wherever I start playing the song, where there's vocals, you're going to hear them. So let me zoom in here, make sure that there's, uh, yeah, slices at the beginning. That's important. And uh, I'm not going to break it up too much, but, you know, just enough to where it starts, you know, there's a slice at the beginning of each phrase. And um, all right, so let me pull it back, pull the slider back. And this is what I'm left with. So let me play that back for a second. I can feel the floor shifting beneath my feet. Right, so then click on this. On it, can't you see? Crawl and crash and call. It's get over all light. I mean, you'll probably do it in a different way once you get familiar with it. You know how many slices you have in there, but you know for for this example, this is perfect. So uh, I'm also going to make sure that my left and right locators keep those spaces intact in the beginning and the end. That's what we talked about. And then I'm going to go and save it. And that is uh, the end of step two.
Okay, so here we are in Reason. This is the uh, the I'm in here song, and uh, this is the final step, getting the uh, the actual Rex file that we just created into the um, the Reason song, which was <laughs> the whole point of this tutorial. So I'm going to select the uh, verse box, the Dr. Rex instrument that I'm going to be putting the uh, the the Rex file that I just created, and I'm going to open up that puppy. Uh, Reason vocals. All right, now I'm going to make sure that my left locator is at one, and I'm going to hit two track, and uh, let's uh, let's play it back and see what happens. Yup, works like a charm, and that in a nutshell is how it's done.